Pigeons are fine feathered city dwelling friends. Some refer to them as rats with wings, others trash doves. But unbeknown to most people, they're some of the most interesting and intelligent creatures that we just so happen to share the sidewalk with every day. Whether they're manually guiding missiles during World War II or inexplicably navigating back to their nests hundreds of miles away to deliver messages, pigeons have a long and fascinating history of working with humans. Believe it or not, the common rock dove, like Daisy here, is actually the world's oldest domesticated bird. They've been around humans ever since ancient Egypt, roughly around the same time as the invention of the wheel. And now, after thousands of years, they're finally getting attention through a way they've always deserved. Video games. One of the biggest and most recent inclusions of pigeons in games has been in Marvel's Spider-Man. You will find the birds scattered all over the sprawling New York metropolis, just as you would in any major city. Land on a rooftop, and eventually a flock of pigeons will join you. Nothing too surprising there. But when Spider-Man's friend Howard needs help finding a dozen of his wife's lost birds, we get to see pigeons from a whole new perspective. The side mission is a touching tribute to the once vilified birds, and even gives us all a more sympathetic look at the relationship some humans have built with pigeons. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. However, the pigeons in Spider-Man are more than just a sought-after collectible. They're also there to teach you how to be a better Spider-Man. After the first few hours in the game, you know how to swing, you know how to basically get around the city with your web-slinging powers, but you're never actually taught how to go fast. That is, until you encounter the pigeons. Howard's pigeon! And the chase is on. They zoom around the city skyline so quickly, you're sometimes left wondering if it's even possible to catch them at all. But then something clicks. You learn how to dive to gain speed, you figure out how to maneuver around corners, and you finally combine all that you know into a singular, grand spectacle of agility and precision. All for a pigeon. So, fun fact, there are actually a bunch of different pigeon types out there. You know, you have your typical rock doves, but you also have your ringnecks, your fantails, your king pigeons, you know, the list goes on. Now, Indy here is a homing pigeon, and they're bred to be stronger and faster than your typical city bird. This little guy is actually missing a part of his wing, so he's not going to be doing any flying, but birds like him can reach speeds of up to 60 miles an hour, which is probably why they're so hard to catch in game. Spider-Man might be one of the biggest games in recent memory to have showcased the birds, but it's far from the first. Grand Theft Auto 4 took a very rockstar approach to the game's 200 hidden packages. They were pigeons. Yes, sadly, you had to shoot the birds in order to collect the packages, but at least you got a nice helicopter out of it. Going from New York to New Donk, Super Mario Odyssey gave us a small pigeon cameo in its Metro Kingdom. Let Mario take a load off on a bench in the city, and a pigeon would eventually swoop down and perch on his nose. Alright, hold still. Perfect. 2016's Battlefield 1 took the portrayal of pigeons to new heights, and managed to capture the bird's importance early on in the 20th century. At that point in time, people were using them to send messages, capture photographs, and during the First World War, save lives. Pigeon headquarters. Barracks for the Signal Corps' feathered messenger soldiers, smallest members of our army. Armies would routinely release pigeons in order to notify allies of their positions, with the most famous account coming in 1918, when a pigeon by the name of Cher Ami flew through enemy gunfire and single-handedly saved the lives of nearly 200 US soldiers. Its leg was actually badly injured during the flight, so maybe single-footedly would be a better word. The game featured a couple of historical nods to these brave war pigeons, including a mode where teams battled for possession of a messenger bird, as well as a breathtaking moment from the campaign where players took control of a pigeon flying over the pockmarked European war front. Orders! Sir, new fire mission! It's Delton, sir! Finally, it's almost impossible to talk about pigeons in video games without mentioning the game that really put pigeons in the spotlight. Hotful Boyfriend. The 2011 avian dating simulator saw us choosing from a handful of handsome doves to woo, or maybe I should say coo. The game showed off a whole flock of different birds, some species in the spotlight for the very first time. You could court the pudgy partridge shoe, or romance the fancy white plumage of the fantail pigeon with Yuya, or go with the shiny iridescent feathers of the rock dove with Ryota. 
The game's wildly absurd premise also came coupled with impeccable writing and a surprising amount of heart, quickly winning people over with its animal magnetism and proving that there really isn't a limit to what dating sims can accomplish. Now, it might be a while before pigeons reach the level of popularity of parrots or owls, but their inclusion in some of the biggest games around is really promising for the reputation. Battlefield 1 reminded us that even during wartime, humans aren't the only heroes. Potiful Boyfriend let us fall in love with the birds in ways we never would have dreamed of, and Spider-Man proved that pigeons can teach us more about the cities we know and love, as well as the people that inhabit them. Let's face it, humans and pigeons were made for each other, and hopefully video games can continue our storied relationship for years to come. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned a thing or two about pigeons. Now I think they're some of the coolest birds around, so if you want to learn more or maybe even help needy birds, you can visit pigeonrescue.org for more information and maybe even consider adopting a pair. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you. I wonder what he thinks just being brought up and down. Fun fact, pigeons are actually tiny dinosaurs. Oh, she's like, it's okay.